Okay, so now here we are with part two of our cruise control unit and we have a original Mercedes-Benz 0554552 manufactured week 10, 1989, so it's original from video and I also have the resistor for you. That's a 0554507.32 week 17, 1989. And you can see this here. We have this here. And what I did is I opened it up. And I got the pin numbers or pin names for you. And you can take a look at this here. So you have between A and B, there's a 3.3, .3, a 0 0.1 ohm, which is like, let me see if I find one on here. Yeah. These here are the green one. 0 0.1 ohm resistors they're basically just like a fuse or wire bridge and they got them quite a bit in there and then we have a 27 kilo ohm and we have a 1.5 kilo ohm and a 500 kilo ohm i did not trace down the connections on which one connects where because it is a double-sided circuit board and i really didn't care about it that much i just wanted to know what values you got in there so this unit here is original, and this here will work with the uh, with this computer here, 532, 0532, and 0732, 545. How this exactly works, I don't know with the numbers. But here's now the computer, and here we have a, let me see if I can zoom in better for you. Today it won't let me zoom because my fingers are dirty. And we can see it here, whoops. This is a ITT. ITT belonged to SEL. Uh, and uh, so that Malaysia already, they were made in Malaysia. This is a 40 pin, 8-bit uh, microcontroller they used in there. Here you can see your quartz crystal for your clock. And you can see I have stripped off the conformal coating. That's why that is so spotty. And we have one, let me zoom back out. One, two, three, four, five, six capacitors, which are pretty much done. This is a fairly large one, 4.7 microfarad, polarized. This one here, but this one is still good. I tested that already. And I stripped off the bottom side as good as it goes. So what can happen here with these units is that either the microcontroller doesn't work anymore or that the quartz crystal is out. And then we're going to have a problem. I'm going to double check the um, Darlingtons they put on here to see if they're working and the transistors and see if there's any damage there. But it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it that anything is burned here or charred. So I have seen people, they're reheating all the solder connection. This is the newer circuit board they have, and I don't think it looks like it that that needs to be resolved. It doesn't look like it has any cold solder spot. I think this affected more the vehicles of the 70s, like the 123 and those ones, uh, you know, with the predecessor of this, which was an analog computer just with op amps in there. This is already a microcontroller unit, which is different, and they um, did quite a job here with the circuit board. It looks pretty good. Okay, guys, I will keep you updated. No test drive today. We can't test it once I change them because if I find anything else wrong, I will post another thing. But we got snow. We got like three to four inches of snow out there. Okay, then I will uh, check in with you and let you know when we can test it. See how the testing goes or how this goes. I can scan this in here and see. We can put a picture up on this here. I'm going to hold it. So this way you can actually see what we had here for the uh, uh, pins. So pin one is 12 volts from the ignition, run and start. On off is from your lever, the switch on the steering wheel. Clutch is the uh, anode side of the uh, diode in your actuator. And that will work against ground and that will turn the thing on and off. Then you have decel, XL, resume, disengage. Disengage is your brake paddle on the floor also the alarm system can turn this pin off here so if the alarm comes on this thing will turn off 
and this is your potentiometer near which we sit and the speed signal which comes from the uh, taco on your uh, speeder on your cluster instrument cluster and also from the fuel relay and the uh, idle speed control and the ECU they all get that signal I don't know exactly what it is but this is basically what it holds it to that would be a reference right here and then we have two grounds which we know we're working so we tested all of the stuff let's see if we can get this puppy to run okay have a great day